Hey what's up YouTube, this is Computer Guy, and finally I'm doing another tutorial now, since I haven't actually done one since last year, uh, that's just because I haven't really got round to it, so hopefully I'll be doing videos more often now, and well, let's get started. So this time it's going to be a new series, which is Cinema 4D, and this is going to be showing you how to create water without real flow. Now, real flow is basically water or liquid animation software which lets you import it into Cinema 4D or whatever and it will render it out and it looks like real water or whatever but the problem with that is that it takes absolutely ages to render I mean once I, I rendered it and it took oh, ridiculously long over two days I'm not I'm being serious but anyway, this is going to be showing you um, how to do it, and it's going to be a lot quicker rendering time, and also it's free. So first you just want to make a plane, and this will be the surface of our water. Uh, make it how big you want. Just think that the bigger that it is, uh, the longer that it will take to render, but at least it won't be as long as it takes for real flow. So I'm just going to make it, I don't know, around about that big. Alright, so now we're going to make the plane look like it was water or something by making it ripple. That's very simple to do actually, and uh, you just want to go to your bend tool up here and you want to hold it down until you get to this menu and get a displacer up and drag your displacer underneath the plane so it becomes a child. So you want to go to your shading part of the displacer menu and where it says shader, you're going to click this arrow next to it and you go up to where it says noise and you can click on that. So as you can see already it's starting to look a little bit ripply if you know what I mean. But to make it even more wave like you're going to double click on like the image of the uh, shader. And this brings up this menu. You want to click shader tab and it gives you a whole load of options. We're only going to be fiddling with a couple because that's all you really need to mess with and that's the global scale, the relative scale, the animation speed and the movement and that makes like the movement of the ripples go along and stuff so first you're going to turn up the global scale to about 500 see that blurs it out so it's not like proper noise anymore and you're going to change the first relative scale to about 50 and as you can see that gives you like a ripply look now you're going to go down to where it says movement and you're going to turn up this last one to about one centimeter so even for one centimeter that's quite fast you're going to turn up the animation speed to I don't know five and if I play that you can see that the ripples move along so even for one centimeter that's quite fast so you can turn that down to about 0.5 and it'll still be rippling at quite a high speed you get the point but right now the ripples are very sharp they're not really ripply like that's easy to sort out as well um, you're going to go back into your displacer and you're going to quickly turn up the strength to about 300 or so and you're going to go to this menu here and you're just going to click and it brings up hypernerbs uh, what that does it basically smooths out stuff from being all jaggedy to being nice and smooth so just drag your plane as a child as hypernerbs so you're going to click on your hypernerbs and you're just going to turn up the subdivisions it gets a bit laggy so that's why I don't really use the hypernerves part until you know I've done but as you can see it's already smoothed out a lot so I'm just going to actually quickly turn that off for now to about one brings it back to how it was because otherwise this tutorial will be laggy and you really don't want that do you so for a good texture for water 
would be like a shiny bluey sort material that's easy to make as well so you want a bluish greenish texture sort of like the green kind of overloads the blue in a way so it's kind of like a turquoise yeah you um, want to add some luminance to make it make it around the same color But you want to turn the brightness down to about, I don't know, 65. So it's still, it's not like too shiny. And you want a bit of reflection. And you want to change the texture to like a sky. Because there's probably going to be like a sky in the background or whatever. So you just want to find a texture that's a sky. So I'll just go and get one. Alright, so I've got my sky reflection thing. And you'll probably want to turn the brightness down on this, unless you want a really high rendering time. But you you want it to about 40 or 50, and just exit. And just apply that to your uh, water, and just hit render. And that looks pretty nice. Looks very wavy, looks like it was, was the sea. Alright. So now we're going to make like a realistic background to it, make it look like this water went on for a long way when really it's only about that big. So yeah, to match the reflection you're going to want to make a sky box which is the same texture as your uh, reflection was. So that'll be easy to do, you just go to new materials, normal and you just change the luminance to the texture so for me that was sky 04 yeah and just drag that onto your sky it's starting to look a bit better already and now it really does look like water uh, you'll just want to make now a floor And you just want to um, drag the floor just underneath the uh, the water so it doesn't like stop the water from flowing properly or it doesn't look right. And you'll just want to drag the same texture that you use for your water onto the floor and hit render. Now right now that doesn't look that good. So you're going to have to fiddle around with a couple of things on the textures like the projection and things like that like UVW mapping or whatever anything that makes it look like it's seamless if you know what I mean I mean that's alright but y you can fiddle around with it to make it look better but as this is a tutorial I can't be asked to spend like ages just perfecting like a seamless technique but you, you get the point so now we're going to be using something called metaballs to make like a waterfall that falls into this. Um, this is another thing that real flow does, but yeah, it takes absolutely ages to render, and this takes five or ten minutes.